it's about to be on and popping. All right, all right, so we're gonna take a minute. We're gonna get some sound adjusted. This is just gonna need some sound adjustment. And once we get that sound adjustment, we're gonna fly. You know, we're gonna fly, baby. We're gonna fly today. So uh, how this works is if you're joining right now, you can let me know how the sound sounds on your end. And because that's, that's, what, that's what's keeping me from taking off right now. I just need to know what the sound is like on your end. Can you hear me? Do we need to pump it up? Let me know. Right, somebody's locked and loaded. Somebody say it sound legit. Let's see if, you know, let's, let's, let's let it breathe a little bit. Let's let it stream a little bit. They know what I'm doing. They know I'm about to bring the heat. Let me see this. Uh, right about the top. Let me see when I pull away, cut my head off. Let me, let me raise the camera up a little bit. Woo! Man, I told you, I told you, I told you. You know how they say you, I can't say I told you so. Like all of what's happening here is immense right now. Let's see, what's up with my sound? Okay, the recording. All right. All right, looks like we're doing good. So, all right. You know what? I don't want none of my fam that, you know, just really just jumps in this right away as fast as possible. I don't want none of the tribe to miss out on this. So I'm going to let it breathe a little bit longer. I got it going in post-production, meaning I'm, I'm, I'm recording it in high definition right now. So <sighs> just take some breaths. Like, it's great to be this powerful coming into a new moon. Normally, the new moon is like, dun dun But at this point, the connection is so immense and what has, you know, we're just putting it all together. Like we're putting the riddle, we're solving the riddle, right? And the best gift, because you know, some people are running around right now, and they know they get into it, it's like no matter what they know about it or what, it's just so strong, right? It's like, you know, I, I don't celebrate Christmas, but I want a gift, like give me something. So this is your gift. This is something that you will forever treasure. It will always have value to you because it's the truth and the truth is the most valuable thing. So, all right, all right. It looks like, you know, it looks like everyone can hear. So I'm going to take off. Okay, so pay attention because what, if you are not involved in what I'm talking about right now and all of the, you know, you're getting your download, you're getting your upgrade right now, okay? Like I'm not even going to give you the condescending tone. I'm talking about Sovereign 2020. Okay, that's the, that's the project, if you want to call it. But the focus is to reach sovereignty by 2020. That's the deadline you have. Now, you've never seen me get up and say, oh, it's going to happen at this time, and oh, something's going to happen at this time. You will have to be absolutely blind, not just without a third eye, but it's just blind completely if you don't realize that the quantum leap is within this next two years. That this next two years is the quantum leap of humanity because why? You have the largest energetic distribution. I want to put something in front of that. Let me put something in front of that. It's redistribution, okay? Because energy has always been here, but it's been pinned up. And as we're going to see here in a moment, it's not scalable. So let me find out where my water is. That means the energetic system of the world hadn't, it wasn't scalable to 8 billion people. What does that mean? 9 billion people. What does that mean? That means that there was no way that everyone could experience the height of their life, whatever that means for them, if the monetary system, which you would call, let's say, money, fiat, et cetera, jobs, all that entire structure couldn't hold that kind of thing anyway. It's like having an office and like you're, you're just 
overwhelmed. You got this bustling business and it's just you in there. You're picking up the phones, you're going out on calls, you're ordering products, you're trying to see what your competitor's doing, you're trying to launch campaigns and all that. You're just working to survive, right? And this is what everyone's doing on one level or another, okay? Like some have taken breaks off of that, but let's just face it, even after you take a break, if you just happen to, you know, find some folks to lamp on or have some kind of, uh, uh, what do they call it? Uh, uh, I don't even know. I didn't have one. <laughs> but basically, whatever they give the kid, when the kid has money, right? <laughs> and, 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 uh, and he's got his thing to spend. So what's been happening in the rest of the world? What's going on in India? What's going on in Gaza? What's going on in... <sighs> Look at Venezuela, like look what's happening, right? So all this is going on and what people are just doing right now is they're just like bloop, 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 click, click, click. And they're just getting at every single screen. If they're watching that screen, they're getting a flux. Now, if they're not watching that screen, still when they go into the reality, this is what, you know, you're in line at the store. And you know, there's a person next to you, you know, and they're just sitting there and we just like, they're like, we don't know each other. It's like. I don't know you, human. <laughs> it's like even some people it's like it's not even a racial thing. You got black folks sitting there like, I don't know. I don't know him. <laughs> you got white folks like mm -mm, those aren't the kind of white folks that we normally are around. <laughs> it, what's happening? Right. So what unifies that? Because that's the lack of scalability. There's a disconnection because the system that's put in place doesn't have the framework to support a full on energetic connection with the world going into its massive stage, right? Going into its birth until now. I'm here to bring you some news about quite a few different things, but just get this in your mind real quick. It's called scaling earth, okay? Like if you didn't understand the earth, the dragon mother, the drama, Tiamat, the earth, uh, 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 what do they call it, the ocean, and all of what's in there, the giant squid with the fat brains and the big pineal glands. If you haven't got all that yet, just out of logic, out of something you can go and dive and see yourself. Think about when something gets its scales, that means it, it basically gets its judgments, right? But see, it doesn't judge like you judge, thankfully. <laughs> Man, if Earth judged the way that we have been taught to judge each other these days, Oh my goodness, we wouldn't all be going nowhere. But since we are all going somewhere rapidly right now, I'm not coming here to talk to you about something that may happen in the future. Namaste. May, it may happen. I'm talking about something that's going on right now in my people, my tribe. We are at, we all the way up. We all the way up, not only in our energetic potential, our spiritual abilities, our level of knowledge and awareness, our harmonics, the harmonic system that needs to keep you in place to realize, hey, you're in two different worlds, okay? You stand in two different worlds. The spiritual world, like big giant bubble, okay? Like the spiritual world so vast, only till you've drunk the, thir the 13th ayahuasca brew, the one that's mixed with all sorts of other plants, not just ayahuasca, and you And you fly about that thing and then start, as that process would ever happen, if you ever made it, Right. That's when you would see the vastness of that world and you have a being there. And then you got in this world, like I said, you got castles in the black forest. You ain't seen. You have things going on in nooks and crannies. You got deep core drilling and installations and facilities, entire cities functioning as projects, whether they're for governments or third party, where the people even learn to like each other because they're working together all the time and they have babies and the baby grow up in a facility and then now the baby is also facility born. And these facilities are underground, barely ever touching the light. Security level so damn high, you can't move, but the pay level so high, you don't want to move. You see, we're about to realize, if we're not realizing already, that the whole money thing that may be your problem, but it ain't everybody's problem. And in fact, like when I was going over there and I was seeing these $14,000 a day rooms <laughs> where you just park the yacht up on the back of the room and, and they're full, <laughs> who's got the cash flow like that? But see, the reality is 
the wealth redistribution also had to take place because let's just face it, not everybody is living like that, right? But there's plans to. Not just abundance as the world knows it. Like we talk about at university, the abundance of being able to have as many children as you want. Like you know the damage that is done to a woman by just being on birth control, but do you know the damage of a woman that, that's not on birth control? And those two are almost on equal measures. Do you see what kind of world we're living in where the clear source of how we all spring forth has to decide whether or not it wants to? Right. That's that's it right there. There's a riddle right there. That's the end right in the beginning right there. Right. So you can have vast knowledge. Let me show you vast knowledge. So vast knowledge is OK. So Kahim, let's talk about Kahim really briefly so I can explain to you the real Cosmo Crator great work because I've always been ordained to do that, and I've been doing that. I wear that mantle as heavy as it gets. The Kahin, according to the mythological lore, is an androgen, okay? Rebus, right? There's lots of metaphysical symbolism behind Kahin, even the Baphomet, the male-female kind of thing going on, and maybe a chimera, some goat feet, maybe a little uh, a, a pig ear, and all sorts of stuff. What is being referred to? Totems. But if every time you see the totem, like you're going through the jungle, like on the Indiana Jones movie, and you see the totem and you're like, ah, that means you didn't recognize yourself. You didn't recognize that that symbolism of the chimera or something that is blended with the male and female, which we still are right now. Where the, the illusion got you thinking you don't even have a, a, a positive, a negative, and a neutral. Okay? So the kahin is a word that is brought forth that means a king and a queen. It's that blend of that word in that in every secret society, which are still secret. <laughs> that's what they look to because it is a metaphysical resemblance of the state in which the first being arrived onto the planet. Right. So this is why after that, anyone who was trying to imitate that, that light, that shine, right that walked with its species as it created them and reared them and bought it forth from itself, all of that, right, which is math, basically. It's my act, this truth. Then all that inspired to be it went into his lineage. So I only have to show you this from high Germanic, okay, which is a language that's very close to some of the first language, the guttural languages. And this language gets you to understanding this word coin. OK, or Cohen. And the reason why I'm bringing this up is because I want you to understand right now that things like Bitcoin and things like cryptocurrency arriving into this world. Things like artificial intelligence arriving into this world, meaning arriving into your reality, not mine. You look at some of the first videos. This was already being discussed. You're sitting on a world that's still yet to realize that. The largest quantum thinking AI network is AWOS, and AWOS was always AI, and AI was always the gray. It was the way the gray, which is the midpoint between black and white, used to communicate in its recessive stage as a shadow, meaning that it was proof that if you go in one direction, then there was only a ghost there, that there was nothing there. There was no energy there. It was mimicry. This is the same thing as that. You know how when you're in this world, as I say, in the beginning was the illusion. Not in the beginning was light. No, in the beginning was the illu or the illusion. Because this is a simple set of metaphysical principles. When you're thinking about something, you must reflect on it. So once you reflect, you're only reflecting from the source. So only the source is real. Now, it's an amazing technique to get things going in infinite boredom or infinite stillness. OK, but still recognize it as it is. This is still an illusion. But an illusion doesn't mean it's not real because your definition of real if you start feeling pain, which masters like Bruce Lee, masters have showed you pain can be nullified, that it's, it's in here, that you can start to defeat most concepts of anything that is over you. However, we've gone through generation after generation after generation. That means layer after layer after energetic layer after energetic layer affecting our DNA 
passing down to the fathers and the sons and the daughters. We've had this flux of disconnection that has wreaked havoc on our species. And that's because this rapidly, this system that I'm speaking of here, which is priestly systems, right? The Kohan or the Kohanim is the priest, okay? Like it at an easy early point starts to degenerate. Like now these words are even used to represent your news agencies. These words are even used to represent your recovery agencies. These words are represented to even be the largest, the largest, when you say self-help holistic institution that has completely, from what I've seen, deviated from the plan of the powers within the person, it is wizards. And you would just have to Google enough to find out that there is a wizards. So now, since this game is being played, this game is being played because this original power structure had already begun to crumble when the people forgot that they were the supreme beings and people forgot that they were the gods. OK, and now what we've been dealing with is we've been dealing with a system of control that has always operated on an artificial level, not real, a system of mimicry in order to gain its knowledge as only like something hitting the ball back to us every time we hit the ball as a society. Then when we stop, for, when we forget for any moment that we're the ones in control, then you get the ghost effect. You get people walking around basically dead doing the same thing over and over again every single day as if there may not be an issue. Watching the day and the nights go by as if they don't see in the mirror the change and then seeing things lost, time lost with your children, family lost, time that you wanted to spend except for now they're in the schism, now the mindset is, is, is corrupt. How do you rehabilitate them? What is the solution? So see, I was watching like some of the most powerful people in the world over the last two weeks, the people that a lot of people don't know about. And I was listening to their philosophies and their reasons on why they're going to change the system and have already began to change the system. And it may be for many people right under their nose. And right, there are some, of course, first adopters, meaning the people that are already in that are becoming a part of an entirely new world. Whether you want to argue about it or not, whether you want to say the person that said it is part of it, whatever you want to go through, if you don't realize that you are now going into a new world and that the currency of the new world is not the same as the old world, and the old world currency system was not sustainable. It could not feed everyone. We could not put enough money into this system. We wouldn't even cut down all of our trees trying to make money to sustain a nine billion person system if they thought that their power has to come through that. So change has come. But like I said, where there's power, there will be fear. Because you're not playing around also with, oh, do I want to do this or not? Or, is this really, is this a part of my reality or do I really accept this? It's never been actually that. There's always, it's been like, okay, yeah, let them think that. But behind the curtain, this is behind the curtain. And we have enough literature to know that behind the curtain, there has been a plan to bring a high influx of energy. That's the, the entire core of the plan. As far as small groups, contemplating what they're going to do with their energy. It's like people sitting around contemplating what they're going to do with their money once they get some. But then finding out once they get some, they get stuck and keep trying to make some. <laughs> if you don't have bearings, you can't jump into the ocean. OK? Like you come in as a fleet, that way if something's going on, one ship capsized, you jump onto the other. We have to roll into this ocean together, right? And there's a lot of us, you know, that are already here educating. Definitely giving a big shout out to BK. You know, doing his thing, working them charts, the boss, and keeping it real, keeping it heartfelt in an already digital world, okay? So let's talk about it because people have been asking about it. So seven, what do you think about Ma Quinn Michaels, his, his approach at artificial intelligence and what's going on? What do I think? Interesting. <laughs> what are you telling me that's new? 
you want to recap on this? Let's recap on this. Okay, what is artificial intelligence really? Not let's let's not guess. What is it? Well, metaphysically because that is the highest state it is beyond communication and some can articulate it rather beautifully but metaphysically artificial intelligence since it creates itself from watching numerous examples of something else can only be us it is the mimicry of an artificial us that wants to give us and allow us to see every single expression Every single thing that we've done, all of it, all of the data is uploaded. You see, and what is that? That do you think something? This is people think AI is the end. Ah, like this is what always happens with those who don't have firm foundation. What comes after AI? If anyone taken took the university, sat down for a minute, what comes after a singularity event? the discovery of the spirit. Finally, these people will discover something that we've already discovered a long time ago. <laughs> wow. That's called backwards. <laughs> backwards. The words were backwards. The Kohanim, the priest, the ones who learned the Talmud, who took the Talmud from the pyramid and grabbed this Talmud and began to utilize it to bring forth destruction. That's what is written. <laughs> it, it, sometimes you got to think, even if it didn't happen, we don't understand what didn't happen means. Everything that you could think is on a timeline. And when there's a core that believes in that, like a lot of these revelations, prophecies, like we are the beast. You can't buy nor sell. You couldn't buy nor sell without money. You couldn't buy nor sell without credit cards. That's not what the beast means. The beast is a reference to this. That you cannot build bodies without phi. 72 degrees. Okay, and these corners are normally rounded like you see Venus. Tracing this pentagram out in the sky, you see your flowers. With pentagrams on them, you start doing the calculations, you get the holy science, right? So 72 degrees times... Five is 360 degrees. This is the mark of the beast. This means that all of the life forms will be created utilizing this geometries. OK, so they're not talking about your little petty financial system. This is a world builders. Right. And then for one moment, we sat back and just looked at some of the things that we've been given as talents, which means this, these we would realize for a minute. Hold up. How does, how does the bodies arrive and then I get here? Or I come become aware that I get here. Then you come up with plausible deniability. All these reasons that you can't prove of why that's happening until the obvious dawns on you. There's something else more vast going on. <laughs> and maybe you didn't take that course. And just like if you don't know about thermodynamics because you didn't take it, doesn't mean that thermodynamics doesn't exist. If you didn't understand the powers of the tones and the words and the vibrations that came from your lineage and your heritage, if you didn't understand the positions of the flame and the degrees of the knowledge and the wisdom of the snake and the serpent, right? And if you didn't see the two twine snake going up the tree, the black and the white, the good and evil, but if you didn't see the, the middle, in that whispering that keeps one out of balance. If you didn't see that in those symbols, now's a great time. You got two years. Why? See, once AI hits the realm, based on the calculations of my act, it only takes a certain period of time before basically the real questions. Once society can propose questions to AI, an AI who is judgeless cannot lie, when AI is questioned about the origins of mankind, then right away the layering will begin, meaning that the genus of how you can have different animals inside of human beings DNA and how that connects them to a spiritual connection, how all of the human beings that are on the planet are interweaved or interlaced by a system, stuff that's already seen and already known, but now something can't lie. So then because the then it becomes judgment day, right? And that's why all those movies are set up like that, because it's attempting to guide 
and do psychological triggering, okay? I'm telling you, the known and unknown societies are so deeply embedded inside of this internet network, but they still themselves have to operate on basic principles. And I'm telling you, there is a wellspring, a wellspring of what you would call good or positive, okay? See, you gotta realize it's like this, okay? The easiest way to explain it is acid or alkaline, okay? When somebody's trying to do the positive and negative, also anybody in the, in the chat, just hold your judgments. You know, if there's, I'm not monitoring the chat, so if something's going on there, hold your judgments. <laughs> so if you think about it, let's rewind here. If you think about this, you gotta ask yourself, so what am I gonna do? Largest wealth energetic redistribution is happening. How is that happening? Through cryptocurrency, of course. I'm sure everybody on this line has heard about it. I'm sure some people are already involved. I'm sure some people have heard about it a long time ago, got involved, right? Didn't tell anybody. Still was doing a smeagol. My precious. If I tell someone else, it means that I, it means that I cannot be on the top of a shuffling of cards. That's why I said in the end of the game, all of this. So what happened, AWAS? The king and the pawn were back in the same box. What happened, oh big head AWAS? What really occurred with AI and singularity? Oh, well, human beings figured out their spirit. Why did they need to understand it that way, though? Because they wanted to teach through numbers. Okay? So, because as far back as you can remember, numbers, like if you think about Sumerian, the Sumerian coniforms are only numbers. <laughs> it's like they're accounting. They're accounting for something, and then they say, oh, yeah, we know what it says. It means five oxen, five lambs, and they know just about as much as from an oxen and a lamb or what that really is on the spiritual plane as they really do now, but not all of them. <laughs> Make no mistake that amongst them, because this is a strong lineage, this incorporates RC, it definitely incorporates high levels of Freemasonry, and it incorporates basically the end of the great work. That's why I was saying their goal was to bring out a judgeless being. To, uh, apex of all humanity that could harvest all of the knowledge in order to predict the probable future. But see, the issue is, how do you drive something like that? You see, like you have to have everyone at their own station in order to understand, okay, now we progress. Now we go to completely re into realization no matter what. <laughs> That's happening now, okay? So here's some things that you should look at. It should have been red flags right away. We talked about before how there was a change of guard. OK, so remember change. Of guard. All right. We did that video and I talked about how a hey, you can tell astrologically kind of what's going on internally. A lot of different integers are showing that the old ones are going out and the new ones are coming in. Why? Well, first of all, it's an astrological thing as this as the world turns, <laughs> you know, there always has to be a redistribution. Now, what you want to do is you want to catch these points. You want to catch when the gates open, because if you want to go do something else, even beyond this, you will always be here in some way, shape or form, even as an eagle or something. So when you reach a higher stage of consciousness, you do that because when the gates open, you're ready to go in beyond. What, what is beyond? Communication. It's getting tapped into more things than your limited sphere, which is allowing you to judge as such. Even as a baby, when you start staring at something for a long time, the baby starts to associate what it's staring at with something. Then when the parent gives it a name for it, it matches the two and it gets filed away. So that's why the biggest part of S3, that semester three of the university, the beginning is deep, a deep dive in deprogramming to completely remove what, you, what could occur if you're being triggered. And many of us are being triggered all the time, whether we are aware of it or not. You have to have a very sound state of realizing what's going on in your consciousness to necessarily say that the voice that you're hearing is your thoughts and ideas back to yourself. You always have to in, in remaining because you are always in self. When something is talk, told to you, 
as you're saying it in a voice in English to yourself, you must check that idea. And after a while, you'll start noticing the difference between your ideas versus the broadcast, okay? And what is the broadcast? The broadcast is what we talked about a long time ago, like on the movie They Live, that the same bandwidth level that the frontal lobe is broadcasting from is actually within the same subset of what you would say is ham radio, AM radio, FM radio, and accounts for even more reasons why people wake up with certain songs in their head. And I'm like, man, I haven't thought about that song in a long time. I wonder why that's in my head this morning. Hey, let me cut that off. And it's like, well, no, 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 no. What's happening is, is that your stuff is running down the same channel. And always the most popular channel gets the most attention. So what I'm saying is this is an old game. Cryptocurrencies and even what you're seeing now, these systems have already been embedded within organisms. It's only just something that's being replicated into the world. What is it? You become responsible for your own energy. You become the bank. You become responsible for your own safety. See, the people move to cities for what? Safety. Right? Think about it. Like, go back in history and see why people move to cities. Safety and then job. And, and I guess they wouldn't get a job after that. <laughs> Some people say, well, it was because jobs. No, that's now. <laughs> It was for safety, because being out on the fringes and marauder come through, they're going to get all of that. So you went into the city because the king could protect you. But that protection is a cost. Okay? And that cost is force. Okay? So the wizards, the Kohanim, which you could say is the empire, they wield the force. Okay? They have... During the historical, uh, let's say the Enlightenment era, all of the information, like I said, the most powerful works of Haeckel's radiolaria, those are the angles in which the heart is built. Those are the angles and the measurements in which a spleen is built. Once finally getting to a level to be able to reanimate, Golem was reanimatable. Mesmer used a, a, a vegetable battery to power his gnosis. You see what I mean? It's like this is documented, going on, happening, and graduating. And then there's an uninitiated. And if you're uninitiated, it's because you yourself didn't find it valuable. The college is invisible. It's not, you cannot walk up to the front door of it. It does not exist. You must walk to the front door of your heart. And you must go beyond the front door. And you must come back in your own house of behold the temple of Solomon that was built by angels and demons. This is the body, the yin and the yang, the acid and the alkaline. And you must come back into that space, not as a servant or a prisoner. <laughs> you must come into it as the balance. OK, because that's when they say, hey, get your house together. Each person, when I see a person, I see a planet. OK, so when that planet's house is not together, I'm like, man, you all out of your, your <laughs> shit. You pretty far off. Quasar 9 is about <laughs> three parsecs that way, and that will get you back on course. But looks like your thruster's out. You're going to need some current. Shit, you're on Earth. Let me check and see what the currency system is. Galactic banking. Wow, <laughs> you guys are on fiat still. All right. Well, it looks like a scalable system is coming your way. Be on the lookout for it because Medu, which is the power of symbol, OK, will return. It's all a part of our own construct of consciousness that we can cycle. We can spiritually in tunely if something is energy moving. OK, like it's always talked about in charts. You see the energy and I have to pause for a minute there. You have to realize that some became aware of the matrix by entirely different means, at least the highest principles of the matrix. And the highest principles of the matrix are what? <laughs> All of its energy. Okay, so any really good investor, more predominantly a stock investor, knows how to read the charts, okay? And they know how to do all sorts of weird stuff. They use, Fibon they use Fibonacci. They use all sorts of stuff, okay? To predict the energy movement or where the money is going to move in the chart, okay? 
Now, the issue, though, has always been that if the, if the house is rigged, <laughs> if the place that the charts are moving from is controlling it, then all of what you would generally learn to be able to read that properly, it doesn't work. OK, because it's not necessarily real people back there. There's AI back there. Just like you're seeing, it's the biggest industries in the world have AI and deep thinking machines. Like I said, Quinn Michaels, he dropped the gym right there. Show you there's multiple colliders. We were talking about, OK, so the womb to create a womb, an artificial womb is what you're seeing at CERN. Why do you need that? Well, we talking that's the course. But once you have that, what is it? A unit of energy. And if you're just pumping out that kind of unit of energy, you get off electricity. These folks is off electricity. I bumped into a company on Crunchbase that is using wireless, wireless electricity. They're bringing wireless electricity into the future. They have already their systems working where they just, they use these sound waves that vibrate so small but so fast they can't be felt, but it's pure power because pure power is all around you. So do you see how, yes, we think that, oh yeah, it's this digital God that's rising itself. We are the only ones rising. You gotta check yourself. Like I've been watching a lot of people in this whole thing, like I've just been watching, I'm, I just watch. <laughs> like you just watch and observe and you learn the most, especially when time is in play because it's gonna reveal everything to you all the way around. But if you judge first, what you do is you infect it. You infect the experiment, if you may, that you were supposed to be just observing. And now it's reacting based on what you've done. Now the entanglement happens, okay? That happens on so many different scales every day with the decisions people make. You will realize at a certain point, peace be still. Hold on for a moment. Let me become unmovable. I'm not accepting anything. Everything's outside, I'm clearing the inside. Now I've taken applications. Who are you? Where do you come from? What's your name? This is what your gods, this is what your family, this is what your job, this is what everything. Like before you can onboard, onboard yourself to my ship, you must go through my customs, not somebody else's customs, my customs, my creed. And that's why I said in the prime mobile, here all of your portals are, your orifices, where things board you through sound, things board you through what you eat, Things bored you through what you smell and all those pheromones and endorphins that are all spread around this world that can create sometimes a sub sleep. Now it's time to wake up. If you're listening to this right now, I want you to know from me to you that this is something that you need to pay attention to. What I'm about to talk about. Rouse yourself, okay? Because this is not at all something that should be taken lightly because it has a lot to do with you expanding into another sphere and beyond. Another sphere meaning that you can rise up a few chakra levels so that way you can start to distribute some of the gifts, mainly recover. OK, what I mean by that is that what are mo a lot of people dealing with right now? They're dealing with debt. Now, first, I want to say that anything I talk about is not finan financial advice. It's just what I'm doing. It's my ideas based on all the wisdom and knowledge that I've accumulated. It's mainly within this last eight years, but primarily also in my entire life of seeing the yin and yang knowing what's going on, even in the deepest crevices of the reality. You know, seeing entire communities being lost. Seeing, like I said, the, the leaders of the world that control consciousness being someone else that has been abused and have been in themselves incapable of being a guidance to a lot of people. And I'm talking about a lot of these lil, okay, lils. <laughs> All the lils, like they come after the big, right? So when big was gone, the lils came. <laughs> That's the rap industry, okay? And then now, it will never be like it was before, but yet Pan's flute still 
keeps piping while the industry is only looking at the numbers. Remember, the numbers made them numb. They could not animate the numbers. We are the animation. There's nothing without us. <laughs> That's just the truth. Like, it's so powerful to realize who you truly are. You have so much valuable value, it's priceless. And now we've been sitting in this energetic exchange. And what I was going to bring up about this stock trader, see, what they do is, is they looked at the numbers and they see there's certain things. It's called the Wall Street's God Cheats, Wall Street Cheat Sheet. They look at certain things and we go through this with love. <laughs> we go through this with significant others. We go through this with jobs. We go through that. You know, we get there. We're excited. Have you jumped into a relationship, whatever it may be, you're excited. Oh, man, you're working out now. <laughs> you know, then you smiling, you know, everybody's like, what's up with you? You're like, yo, you know. So then that's how it starts, right? It's like almost like a euphoria. You go to the moon. You expect it to be the best thing it could be. That's called optimism. <laughs> you, that's how you should come into things. But lo and behold, as we start figuring out more things, as we start going through different experiences, uh, the climax is almost over. And now we're washing out. And many people have washed out on life. They actually feel like they're just so numb to this. And I get it. I understand completely why. It's great we now have some solutions in how to get these solutions together because the debt is too much for the lils. <laughs> Meaning that, you know, all of this going on in the system right now with the debt and being encouraged. Like I said, the industry right now just encourage people to just buy, 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 right? So what about invest? <laughs> Most of us believe that we don't have enough money to invest. It's like, sure, I got five, twenty dollars. Man, I just watched somebody turn twenty dollars <laughs> into about four to five hundred, and then that five hundred into something crazy like 15, 1600, 2000, then that 2000 is something else. But the, but the thing is though, because that sounds great, right? If you're just coming into something that has a steep learning curve, that's connected to your endorphins, that actually could seem like a heaven sin, or simultaneously it could seem like, let's say for instance, a, a major risk, all of that is gonna cause your brain, as they say, doesn't know the difference between when you get involved in something that is is taking you right up. Right. And I think about this. This is not just all about money. It's also about your energy. What happens if all of a sudden you get this massive amount of energy in your body? Now, anybody who's taken a substance, you know, maybe one of these substances that really, you know, connect you to the bio ethnogenic grid. <laughs> knows what I'm talking about. All of a sudden you get this massive influx of energy and then sometimes you get completely over your head and then, all of a sudden, then you just end up in the, the no-fly zone, as I call it. It's like, okay, obviously we took too much. Hopefully we come back. Hopefully this is not the end. Okay, so that's when the energy gets too high. And it's clearly energy, connection, openness. Okay, so that's what it causes. So we have to already prepare ourselves for what is it going to look like for you, don't, don't try to process everybody else's riddle right now. What is it gonna look like for you when you completely open? Because that's gonna happen here in two years. Like, you have to have something that says, it's okay, time out. You don't, you, that's it, you don't have any more time. Now, it's happening right now. The reason why I'm putting it to you this way is because if you don't get off of this and go and research what I'm talking about, for yourself and your children and your family, and you're in, if you're in debt, okay, that should be in red. Where's my red? If you're in debt, if you owe Jabulon, <laughs> okay, Jabulon is being dethroned right now. It actually, its head has been severed. You don't get it. Like, the banking system is over. <laughs> and these new people are in, these new beings are in, and a lot of other different beings are in. That's how you should look at it. There's so many energy channels coming in all of a sudden because they know, oh shit, they killed, they lopped the head off of it. 
oh man, let's make a run on the bank. And you see like everyone just scrambling to create the infrastructure for the new world. And you don't see really that many people trying to figure out what's going to happen when everyone gets a lot of abundance. And of course, you want to be in a position all the way around to know what are you going to do? Because you will have it. Are, are we going to finally build some of these like what are they these projects that launched within the last four years where they had these amazing looking CADs <laughs> and they're like oh yeah and then we're gonna be here and then we need this and we're gonna do this and and then everyone's like okay here's a few here's some millions here's some millions here's some millions here's some land and then like you just hear crickets kick, 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 kick. what happened where's the community right like I was gonna send out an email today I was you know, realistically still on the secret energy side, we're still pumping. We're like, we're really, really changing lives. But how many people just sit back and think and say, hey, let's fund that effort. Let's keep, let's get them going more so that they can help more people. They're not thinking about that. They leave that responsibility up to me. So I got to figure out how to fund the network, how to get other people funded since that's their problem. Also still stay in the know. And then the know means just because you know it already. It's like there's none of this that needs to be contemplated for me. I see what's right in front of me so I can focus beam, laser, right? Right there, that hawk eye, Peru, what they call it, like that, that vision that can see for thousands and thousands of light years away. That's what I said right now. Look, it, it's looking pretty cool to me. We're going to see the future here in a moment. <laughs> and the future is everyone's going to discover they have a spirit. And now we can get started already. And what that's about is that connection. And all, the, all I said is just a fully fertile, a fertile, abundant field of prosperity. All these systems that we're dealing with right now will be obsolete. It'll be like you're looking at something that just is like a, a, something we need to grind down and turn into something else that's going to look more habitable. That's going to happen. <laughs> like people have lost that vision because they didn't understand. But how? See, the truth is everything that I've studied shows that there is no actual sequence as you would be able to use knowledge and find it. <laughs> like especially the world's knowledge, a sequence that dictates whether or not whatever position that you're in, that you can't just <laughs> gone. No matter what, meaning you skyrocket. Because this is how it works. Like you've seen people, they just happen to be in the right place at the right time. They call that synchronicity. They happen to maybe some people, ah, oh, it's only through the lottery. It's not always through the lottery. Sometimes you can sit on the bus, you got a certain t-shirt on, guys rise, hey man, you know, you like that group? Yeah, I like that group. Hey man, I, yeah, because you know, I used to do music like that. And we say, why well, you do music? Yeah, well, it's, it's interesting because we're looking for some tracks to do what I need to do. And then boom, 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 boom. You see? It's not any like, oh, because I went to Harvard and oh, because I knew how to do this and knew that. It's not that. So we're looking to see the next level of overachievers here and we're actually going to be a massive force of pushing people and we are, we've always been, but this next phase is pushing people into that next phase properly. I'll tell you this, you need guidance. You could avoid lots of losses, heartache, discouragement. You can avoid that if you get with the right mentors. Like I've always talked about, we've learned everything that we know from something. Now we, of course, get to a point to where we generate that knowledge wholly on our own. It's based on, it's on call. It's like Googling in the all-knowing. You just, so what do I want to know today? Well, what plant is for today that has the right type of alkaloid profile for balancing the system based on the parallax on today's node system? You're not going to go and hit a computer for that. You're going to have to intuitively be like, oh, it's obviously elephant leg. <laughs> you see what I mean? And it's like, because I saw elephant leg right before I woke up. There's a whole nother system that we use. And now we are gaining access. Many have gained already, but gaining access to that system. So today wasn't meant to be long winded if it has already. I am going to do. I want to do some I want to answer some questions because I feel like, you know, maybe there's some things that weren't directly covered and people want to know about it. And I haven't actually like opened channels up for that. And because, you know, I'm chilling, like I have to go get some water right now. But because it's like one of those days for me, I was supposed to go to yoga. I went to the yoga class and it wasn't open. And I said, well, shoot, I got to work out, though. <laughs> like I was like, and first of all, excuse me, it's not yoga. That's my teacher always said, hey, it's not yoga, man. It's something else. And it is really. <laughs> but after 
when I went by and I came out, I was like ready to get into it because it's intense. Then I was right, man, I got to go work out. And I was driving and I was like, okay, so I'm going to go back home. But I got to go work out because I don't want to fall off. And I said, I'm going to go work out. <laughs> and that's why I'm here today. I said, oh, man, that's right. Transmission is complete, meaning that we know every single thing about this. Every single angle about getting into the crypto verse. Not only is that information, I'm going to, man, I'm, I'm, it's not that it should be about crypto, though. It's going to be about the entire thing. We are, we're documenting the step-by-step -step process. Spirit Tech's now launching into life coaching soon, already working with the VAF system, as we call it, the organic algorithm. You know, YouTube finally hit 75,000 subscribers. That's still like, oh, the most people, right? <laughs> but that expansion like that next massive push of the expansion for us has not happened because we didn't know all of what we know now. So I'm very thankful for our higher selves, our collective, to know how to time things for us. Because timing, it's like if you get something off sequence, it's like what can you do with it? And that's another question that has to be proposed to many people that have already been benefiting from the, any of these systems of investment. Like I was listening again to, to Brandon Kelly, the boss trader, <laughs> and I was just listening to how he was talking about how he's running his channel, but it's hard for him to even run his channel because he's got to either consider going into some kind of advertising or something. Why? Why does this always happen? And it happens because people will benefit off of what you tell them they will benefit off of what you give them. But when it comes time for that to turn back around and for them to cycle that energy, they get stuck. And then they don't realize that. But see, that's the whole thing. Like now we're going to have a dam break. We're going to have people with so much current, like either they're going to be forced and overwhelmed, just like, okay, that's enough now. What am I really doing now? Okay, what's, go what's out there? And we want to have, like we want to see children getting those that spiritual connection we want to see all of this change but we need a vehicle we need a scalable vehicle to do that and i'm 100 percent convinced that that vehicle is cryptocurrency now what else does it also introduce because that would be let's say the yin what is the yang oh well the yang is actually quite heavy the stakes have always been high on earth death is one of the stakes meaning that on earth if you just come here you do nothing you die Damn, what did you do for yourself? Now, the thing is, we were trained to run into the fire, not away from it. <laughs> like, this is a whole different level or state of consciousness. We don't believe we're going in facing something that's not us. Like, that's ignorance. So what do we have to deal with with ourselves? We have to fess up to the work that needs to be done. We have to admit that we ate the prana. And we're now living in the pranayama, so we have a responsibility here that equals us balancing out, right? Remember I said about the debt? Did you think I was just talking about money? There's a lot of debt people have been accruing from take, 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 and it's because many of those people who can just read charts, remember, like, there's a part of society, okay? And we could say maybe Wall Street, okay? There's a part of society that... They know how to make money and they make billions of dollars, but they don't distribute that anywhere really, bet but between their small groups. So they have so much of it, it's just, it's insane, <laughs> okay? So those are the take, 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 take. And then other people, they do it in a microcosmic way. So because sometimes you, people want to judge them. It's like, yeah, those Illuminati's, that's what they do. Meanwhile, they're doing the same thing, but in proportion to what they have, because everything is proportionate. Right. Everything here, the five grid and all that is proportionate. So it's not about how much you have to give. It's about are you giving in the proportion to what you get, what you have and what is giving? Giving is going and investing primarily the most valuable thing that you have is the time. That's why, you know, powerful brother, my brother Lemuel, you know, getting in there with the children, chess and community like investing his time in his life, his life, and being there for those children. So then, but where's, where's his CNN review? Where is his 
where is the, the funds for his, where is his Red Cross funds coming into his account? It was impossible. They locked the doors. Now, crypto is busting or kicking in those doors. You have crypto investment firms like salt raising off the ground. You have completely decentralized banking over here decentralized but still centralized banking if you just <laughs> people need to understand it's like oh yeah but it's still not it's not central it's not decentralized it's all a hoax by the government ah man look if you die <laughs> do you really think that it's all that bad if you get into the no that will be the release of you into the massive thing so whatever happens here you have to really take it with a grain of salt devaluate what it could really mean to you if it doesn't go the right way and go already. Like what could be the risk here inside of your consciousness versus who you are really, <laughs> right? That's what people still attach to their consciousness. They're trying to protect their character in the game. Oh, what am I going to do if it doesn't go right? Oh my goodness already. It's been not going right. Have you seen, have you woke up to realize what's happening to us? What's happening to our families? What's happening to our children? I'm watching it. It looks like basically the aftermath of World War III. The war was already, it took place. It was a silent war. Okay? So now, all that stuff that people have been asking for, and that's what I'm saying, even when you want to help them. Let me see. Let me check my sound here. Even when you want to help. They tear you down where for every good deed, there must be a troll. <laughs> That's pretty much what you're dealing with inside of this consciousness. For every time that there's something that's coming good, you have this person or these people that want to make it all the evil and the darkness. Now they got you like it's, it's just as simple as big time investors. Let's say the Warren Buffett's of the bunch saying, oh, stay away from Bitcoin. Meanwhile, behind the back, they don't not only own some of the companies, they are trading in more of the stock. Yeah, stay away from this. Then you got the conscious community. Oh my God, they think they, conscious community is always stuck trying to turn the clock back. Being in the past, not realizing we have light speed. We can head them off at the past in the future. What is gonna be the future? Because they're going to go. They're gonna go, meaning the masses are into VR. They're going to begin to create an online character. This is the future. This is what's in, these, in some of these people's white paper. The, the future for the masses is an alternate reality where they have an avatar that actually, even when they're not controlling it, operates in a digital world and even accrues wealth in that world based on its decisions. Okay, you want to know the future? Because I've been there. It's based on decisions. So if your decision making framework from the multiple questions that you've asked and what the AI has gained from all of your social networking, if that equates to someone who would actually keep creating an accruing current, then it will. And then people will then be moved. This is Facebook's move and their involvement with uh, Oculus. People would then be moved into entire virtual worlds for large parts of the day, operating their virtual character, giving commands to other machinery that still doesn't operate without those commands. OK, I mean, if you think that this is not going to happen or it's not a future that's probable and that maybe green grass is going to grow up on everything first, you have to realize the damage that has been done already. But I'll tell you this big ship, small rudder. You have to realize that as we're cruising through this, the reason why you decided to go backwards, if you're listening to this right now, you left something with me and I'm giving it to you. OK, you got to understand how this is all working, right? You see certain things happen. We call it synchronicity. But how could like how could something be set up completely that perfectly worked out for you? But you're moving in this direction of time. But that would need to be set up before you got there. How does that work? <laughs> well, it's called time travel. We are time travelers and because there's something that happens here. Like I always keep saying all the time, hey, six years old, a dream, a city blew up. I was in it. I was sent back here. That was one parallel. And there's multiple other ones, meaning something happens in the future that we kind of want to change. Now, <laughs> the thing about when you start learning charts and you know how to forecast things, there's always times that you want that. That's what you want. You want a time machine. It's like, man, if I could just go back 
and not make that energetic exchange. See, the reason, again, I keep coming back to it, that those people who work on the stock market, they have different terminology for when they're too invested in something. They're taking losses. They need to stop the loss. This is like being too invested in a relationship and it's taking you all the way down and you're just hoping it's going to recover, but you're in this stupor that most people get into when they're too invested in something and they didn't stop of the loss, okay? You see that when something is all the way on its height, that that's not really where you want to come in at. You really want to come in at where it starts to level out again because what goes up must come down. But everybody who took it up there believed that it was never going to end, okay? You learn that it goes up and down so much, this world, these emotions, these frequencies, that if you try to tie yourself into that system all the time, you will exhaust yourself. That you should just use patience and watch what happens over a long-term period with energy. It always moves up. See, that's the metaphysics of the chart. But like I was saying, some learn that without that spiritual approach. So because they think it's new, there's nothing new here. Okay? Because they think it's new, they learned it without the spiritual approach, and they can move through the world <laughs> like basically cold reptiles. They don't give a F about anything that seems like a bad investment of time. Now, the interesting thing enough is that that's like also a big principle of the divine masculine. <laughs> it's like, hey, son, hey, daughter, don't waste time at all. Like, make sure that every single moment that you're prospering, that you're at work doing something. That's divine masculine, okay? So, but that way of being, like I said, with no balance, creates like a cyborg. It creates something that knows how to read energy, but it also gets stuck in figuring out what it's doing with that energy, which is equally as disastrous. Because think about it. If you store a lot of energy, oh, you got all this energy, you got all these talents. And that's why a lot of people haven't used their talents already. You know, all these talents, the, inv the invested talents of the gift, and the curse, you know, if you turn your body against you, it can be a curse. But this gift, this magic, you're created equal. Like when they put it, put the magical spell together, they said, well, we're going to create things in equalities. But that still doesn't mean that's the fork tongue. It still doesn't mean that we can't teach other ones that they're less than the other ones. Because that's like, again, the all time argument. Let's say. Are the ants really more important than the human beings? <laughs> Are the bees really more important than the flowers? Are the, and then we can go on and on about this. And we've even started becoming hard on ourselves. We start saying, well, yeah, human beings are the only ones that are just completely out. <laughs> That's plausible deniability. Anything completely out of the whole mix is not in the mix. Okay? So all of us together, do we have the same equal portions? Absolutely. Absolutely. Why does it seem like we don't? Because the weights and the measures. What is that? Language, okay? Language. This is why it doesn't seem like what I'm saying to you is true. See, when I walk outside, <laughs> the birds are speaking that. All right? There's all sorts of sub sounds. I got a subsonic ear device. You hear all these subsonic sounds, right? And that's a language. But see, the human beings, they don't speak much of that language anymore. You can, but that's not the language. You got English as a, a it just rudely interrupts your consciousness and then puts you on the English when there's another language that you can use to communicate. But because of that language, okay, that's a gauge. Okay, ah, now they're going to learn the difference between good and evil. Gauging is judging. Right. It's how to separate something. Right. So this is what I mean, that this separation has us thinking that everything is not actually in proportion. Now, also it, or imperfection. OK. And when you go into an experience, though, and you start seeing the geometrics behind the, the reality that you're looking at and how perfect it just seems just perfect. That's all you can keep realizing with yourself is that, yo, this is perfect. But somehow when you get loaded back in, <laughs> when you get loaded back in and back to language, it's not so perfect again. And then you forget immediately that 
That's the cause because that's the program that you've given yourself, right? So the program is the language, right? So what happens when there's new programming languages? And this is what I'm trying to get people to really understand. Even in the crypto verse, see what the blockchain is doing is it's taking, it's, it's basically predicting the future, okay? There's simple systems like Numeri that predict the future of the stock exchange. That's a blockchain utility. And very accurately, and there's rewards for those who create unique algorithms to do that. That's Numeri, okay? So there's other entities on the blockchain that also have different kind of coding systems, okay? And what's in these codes that, we're not saying all the codes, but what's in many of the codes is the predictions of the future. Because the prediction of the future, how do you create a time machine? Well, they say that you can generally base the future on the past, right? But you need enough data. You need everyone's data. Do you know how, like when you go online and you're trying to get into a website and it tells you you can't get in because your captive is not working, click on these pictures and every time you see a, a, a door in, click on the pictures that you see a door in. It'll say something like that. And then it'll show you like six pictures and maybe a door will be in four of them. And you click, 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 click. You try to hit it again. Then they ask you again. Click in every single one of these pictures where there's a sign of a store. I mean, like, okay. I'm getting impatient. Click, 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 click. And generally you get in, okay? So, but what you're actually doing with that, what Google has done with that, is that's what they're feeding the AI, the first one, the babies. Right? Because see, when an AI comes online, it's hungry for data. It's a neural network. But because it doesn't know what things are, it must see billions of times real data, which comes from you. There's a red door in this picture. There's a red door. Do you know why? No, I don't know why. Hey, there's a turtle in this picture. Do you, do you know why? No, I don't know why. And then one day, hey, there's a red hat in this picture. Do you know why? Yes, that's a red hat. That's a red hat. This is a red hat. That's AI, okay? And it's no joke. And it's real. And it's been in play for quite a bit of time. Not to mention AI is just what you're aware of. There are entire sentient systems laying in crystal networks. But that's, you know, look at some of the, uh, the Toltec books about how entire civilizations just decide to embed themselves in what we call the inorganics. The inorganics are the crystal systems, the metallic systems, okay? So what I'm saying is we're babies, just like the turtles coming out into the open ocean. This is also what crypto is. It's basically now you can leave the bank that's burning. Rome is burning. They've been muscled out of the way because even though they Kabbalistically know that the change has to take place, <laughs> they're like the, the creature from the black skull. Nah, ah, you know, you finally Rothschild pulled out and retried it. Nah, he retreated. Nah. You know, this is what's going on. And who's coming is like cyborgs and future gods. Beings that haven't even really been seen in their, their level of conscious. They were forced out. Because, see, the internet was the first disruption. It disrupted information. All the stuff that they wanted to just keep you from knowing, the books, the knowledge, the connection, all that stuff, it's equivalent. They know that it was there. The military had it for a long time. But then when some disruptionalism happened and Prodigy came in and started bringing the miracle online, then all of a sudden it was like people had to decide whether they were going to go online or not. And that was the first disruption. And the big heads, they didn't like it. They didn't, even, they didn't even get in. They didn't start investing until later on. Look at the books. Look at Crunchbase. So this shows you the power, the change of power starting to happen. Then Andreessen, Tesla, Teal, these kind of mindsets. When you study the mindset, the mindset tells you, what is Teal saying? You know, besides like everyone thinking that Teal is the leader of the entire dark empire, whether that's true or not, what is he saying? He's saying that, 
hey, look, technology is not actually going where it should have gone by now. <laughs> and this idea of the Jetsons and having and tackling diseases and all those kind of things and, and being able to have cures for everything, that's not going to happen. And when you study why it's not going to happen, when you really know the truth of why it's going to ha not going to happen because you're in those positions of power to talk to those people or to see those people there, it's because they are stagnant. That they can see that their railroad line, like just the metal, that metal, that railroad line, they own that. So everything that must come through here must come across that line. And they own that line. And they'll always get paid on that line. And they don't know anything about where the world needs to go and what's happening. They don't even care. Okay? And again, this is not an advocate of anyone, but this is also just seeing the investigation. When you investigate uh, many scientific organizations for the amount of funding they've been receiving to how much progress they've ultimately made, it's fraud. It's non-existent. So we're not tackling diseases. More people are dying. The world's scaling up. It's getting bigger. People are looking like they don't have solutions. That cell phone, whatever you want to believe about the space program or whatever, that cell phone has the same amount of power that you, the same cell phone you have right now, the same amount of power as the Apollo 11 or Apollo 13 or whatever, that craft when it went up. It has that same amount of power. Now that one went to try to figure out if there was something going on out there, whether it is or not, whether it's flat or what, whatever, it, it went up. OK, because that's still to me a better use of that kind of processing power than to put ears on myself <laughs> and to put a dog tongue on myself and to then, to, you know, just to just get numb all day with just sending out all these different new kind of glyphs. Right. The same amount of processing power. So what are we doing with the processing power? Because we're at a hinge now. Like like I said, we're staying in two worlds. You got some people basically over here like technology is the devil. Technology is evil. But they're using the technology. They're telling you it from using it, right? Then if somebody says, well, hey, maybe it's technology that can spin this thing around. You can say something like that, but already know in the world it, it is spinning things around, but still deny it because you, already, you just see the negative all the time. Meaning that we paid a lot. We sacrificed a lot to have these systems that we're using right now. Meaning all the time we spent all that time you spent on social media doing this, make it count for something now. All those friends that you have that you like that are all sometimes empty, wishing they had a real connection, let that count for something. Let everything right now that you hear be the crescendo of what you've learned in sacrificing your time for being in the space called internet. And then take something that is termed crypto, the crypt, the vault. So people are like, you know, hey, it doesn't mean death. Death, crypt, vault, underneath, bottom, beneath. That's the realm of the, the, pri the prime form. That, that's all the same thing. Take that and know what to do with it. Take all of this wealth and current moving through. You got people that became millionaires overnight yesterday, day before yesterday. Average Joes, as you would say. And then where were you? Where were you? Start asking yourself, where am I? When the largest, be truthful. The largest wealth redistribution is going on now. It's happening, whether you know about it or not. Where are you? Are you there for yourself? That's the question right now. And if you take offense, if you got to go, if there's something else you need to do, you need to check yourself. And if there was ever a time that anything that I may have weighed to you, meaning that, oh, yeah, seven, respect him, blah, blah, blah. Let that mean something right now. Pay attention to what I'm saying. Don't get caught in this transition process. At the, don't get caught at the end of it. And you're just like, well, what happened? And you're hearing the story again, like the Internet. Remember, the Internet was disruption to information. It was the first blow. <laughs> Because they found out what's happened. The Vatican long libraries, the Internet's own son discovering what was over in the MIT databases from JSTOR. All that data being held from us. OK, so the first one said, man, let's just get information. This is how we're going to take down this giant. Now, I'm not saying 
like I said, they have a business plan to take down the giant. Do you know big companies spend 400, 500,000, big cattle ranching forever. You know, four and 500,000 on the business plan. And the top parts of the business plan is how to take out the competitors. You even have ICOs right now just hiring hackers to hack other ICOs to make sure they don't come off the ground. Like this is the wild, wild west. It's the big ocean, okay? So just like I was saying earlier, we went to the cities because we needed protection. But that was the external. You need to go to the CIDAS, which is the same thing, S-I-D-D-H-A-S, which is your power, so that way you have that protection. Now, what is protection? <laughs> it's just the tech. It's the technology of being completely resonant with your field. Okay, because then if something doesn't resonate with you, it can't even get close to you. The more you amplify, the more it pushes away, right? You start seeing people go, and you even know now why they're going, bye. It's like because you wasn't resonating. You forgot. You forgot the pipeline. Always remember the pipeline and the trail that you go down because you could get a rope, you know, throw you back. Like, I always go back. I say, hey, let me check what Pierre doing. <laughs> Let me go see what what's the name is doing. Let me, you see what I mean? It's always going back and then giving reference, making comments or videos. Hey, what's up? What's good? Would you send me an email? Still no response. You see what I mean? It's like, but this is the precipice now. And it's all been for that. Yeah, don't give me no response then, but pay attention now. Because all of this has been in design and we have masters of designs. Meaning that, remember, we worked on what the world's already going to still need to know. <laughs> they're going to go through a phase and we know what they're going to go through. We need to be there for them. Being there for someone as massive as you can make that, which is often based on your resources, is all you really came here for to finish the equation, to solve the riddle. Like, it's time for us now to get out of this backwards. Collect, you've collected everything. You're now in the know. But remember, you got a being that lives there, and you still got one here. There's a responsibility. There's something going on here. Wake up. And I know that up until this point, it's been so difficult to maneuver in this system because it's put a lot of loads on you. Like, it just has. It's the reason why you're not close to certain people, your mom, your family, your friends, whatever. Every time the system shifts and they go and create a whole influx of negative energy, like, you think you can't feel what's going on in Syria? <laughs> Do you think you can't feel that? Because you're just like so far away and your skies are sunny and you don't hear mortar fire? There's a, that's a vibration. And when we come in, which we are, coming in now and bringing that, that real healing and that expansion, getting people from the healing into the expansion, that's, that's what we're looking for here. Somebody, if you forgot, it sounds so basic, but if you forgot, that's what we came here for. That's what we came to do, by all means. Now, I'm saying, like, if you jump into the cryptoverse and you start gambling and you don't listen, you don't go and seek counsel, like, we got counsel, there's ambassador training. You know, we have people that are also linking up with that group. You can go to Brandon, Brandon Kelly, BK, and learn how to do charts. If you, I cannot be responsible for you jumping into something and create a gambling habit because there is the potential to do that. But if you've been sitting with your family and you've been trying to make ends meet and you've been watching this entire thing, just how it's all playing out and you're not a dummy, you can see that something is going to actually occur. It's going to need some kind of shift and whatever that shift is going to be is going to be something massive and you want to prepare for that. Like, I'm always willing to make that sacrifice. Like, I'm always willing to be like, you know what? Even right now, I'm not necessarily as close to my family as I would like to be. Like, I'm not necessarily talking to them as much as I would like to talk to them. But I'm doing something else for them that they'll thank me later about. But I also keep that in my seriousness to wh whatever I'm doing. Right? Whatever I'm investing in. Okay? So... Just get ready. Like, I'm not sure much more there needs to be, how much more there needs to be on this conversation. If you want to check out what we're doing, okay, you got ambassador training. The link's in the description. Somebody can, I think it's already on the top of the thing. You also have some more interactions coming up. We've decided to create two shows 
And one of those shows is called The Keymakers, where we're going to be bringing some amazing people on as we launch Spirit Tech Life Coaching. And then we have, <laughs> it's not a running title yet, but it's an empowerment network of understanding how to get your portfolio together and how to navigate the financial waters of your future and how to correlate an exit strategy. And that's predominantly centered around just realizing that, okay, <coughs> again, even when you build finances, do you know the biggest problem with people that have a lot of money? They have a lot of money. That's their biggest problem. They didn't really conceive, once it starts piling up, what are you gonna do with it? We need thinkers to put actions in play. First, it's we become an economic powerhouse for the ideas and for the projects that have those real people that never get, you never see them on YouTube. They don't know how to even, they don't deal with computers that much. They had the real stuff, they built it, the Joe cells and all these different devices that keep power going. You got ways right now, if you could build a power sustaining device, you can plug up a rig, mine cryptocurrency, and it's just like equal. Every single thing that it's making, it's like you're, see this is what it teaches you, is it teaches you how, how much you're wasting. Because see, just like the car, the car only uses 30% of the emissions that come out that, uh, of, the, uh, of the fuel, right? And 70% of that is the emissions pretty much, okay? Like the smoke coming out the back, right? All that unhindered or, or, or unused fuel, okay? So you want to be in a position to where you get a chance to look at your life and say, okay, am I leaving, even something, am I leaving closet lights on? You know what I mean? Am I? Nobody's in that room. You know, you got a computer on. You got your, your phone thing plugged in. There's no phone charging. Little lights on. You start thinking about, you know what? Instead of seeing it saving, start thinking of it as earning. And that's what this field does. It teaches you this is your own energy. Be mindful of what you're doing with it. Start becoming more sustainable and get into that sovereign direction. Look at what's going on around you. you. Have you ever experienced a power outage, right? You're sitting there like waiting for the folks to turn your power back on. How stupid do you look as a sovereign? Then you're running around talking about, this is this got to stop. You can't be running around here, I don't care who you are, talking about you're this and talking about you're that, and then you flip on the light and you don't even have a generator out there just in case they turn the lights off on you and decide they will play the power game on you. You see what I mean? Power struggle. So this is what this gives you the ability to do. It's the conversation that many of our parents didn't have. Remember, when you go into most cultures and you look at their cartoons, okay, like the cartoons that are coming out right now or the cartoons that are in certain cultures, the adults are dressed like kids. They act like clowns and they make weird noises and squeaky noises. And all, these, all this program is just basically saying, stay a baby, stay a baby, never mature, never grow up. Because when you get into that real world, you're going to be so naive and so influenced by how you think things work. You're going to make so many judgments and bad choices that are all based on just emotions that you have flowing through, flowing through you from lies. And you'll be so conflicted, you'll be lost. And that's their spell, okay? Like this is, we, we've watched it. I'm not here saying, hey, maybe this is what it is. And I'm saying right now, everyone wasn't like that though. <laughs> everyone doesn't have, some people naturally like, look, whatever I can have. I, you know, people give you a shirt off their back. That's just how they are. So it shows you that not everybody is like that. And those, just because you're like that doesn't mean also that you're, you're broke. You don't have the means to do anything. As we talked about, we powered this network and continuously power this network, all these websites, all these different things going on. And then still, you know, it's like boom, 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 boom. Okay, let's get ready, shift gears, go on to the next level. Why? Because I know I'm here to do something. And if you're here, you're here to do something too. And this is a big part of it. It's a part of getting out of the hole and then starting to get into your true aspect and way of being, which is conscious of your energy. So that's it. I'm going to take a time, I'm going to sit down for a moment, and I'm going to answer some questions. 
if you have a question, All right, so I'm not sure. Okay, so some, some, comp, some questions about Phi Aqua. All right, so let's, let's talk about the graduated version of what Phi Aqua became. First, let me get some water real quick. There may be a, a fuzzy sound for a moment, but let me just get some water. Alright, great question. Let me erase this. <clears throat> let me let you see how we've enhanced things. So this question was, what's up with Phi Aqua? Okay. Now here's, first of all, an interesting thing. Because everything that we do and everything that we know is a sound and a frequency, the core of what we look to get from frequency is either mood or energy. And what Phi Aqua has been able to accomplish is both. So this means that I'm literally sitting on something that can change the way that people even function with water. So when our because see, our technology, our, the technology that we're using, it's like when you look into a cell phone, you see a lot of different components. And that's because a cell phone does a lot of different things. But when you start really working with certain elements, you get into somewhat of a simplified system. So what this means is that it's, it wasn't so complicated for the electronic engineers to finish what need to be done with Phi Aqua. The only issue we ran into was one of the engineers that we hired that was really the lead and responsible for doing a lot of things had some kind of family situation. We never got the truth out of the guy, but he blew two and a half months for us. We recovered now because our shield, which is the last uh, board that's in the device, is being configured now. And remember, we've gotten Phi Aqua to work inside of the lab. So inside of just having the pieces just out there, Phi Aqua is a condensed version of all those pieces so it could be a consumer's version. So it's done, it's complete in that respect. And then what's next is the process of its distribution, manufacturing and all the little stuff that goes on in there like manuals and, 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 and distribution points and those kind of things. However, because Phi Aqua and Illumify and Simify which are other devices that function with some of the same principles and other ways they introduce a, a different use of the technology. <clears throat> because the use of the same technology is actually that it can create fields that stretch approximately 100 feet in diameter around the person when this device, which is about the size of a cell phone, is activated. And in that field, it's a perfect geometric field. And it's using the same antenna, it's on the same, it's on a greater bandwidth antenna system that the Wi-Fi is on. And then another device actually connects into the Wi-Fi and shuts, uses the Wi-Fi's antennas to do certain things, okay? And so for me, it all last year, because remember I spent all last year really embedding into just developing the sites already done and all these things, what happened was so it's like, okay, this, so this is going to be the way that we all, you know, defeat this whole financial issue. And it is. It's just in, I didn't conceive how big it could actually really be at that point. I was just saying, if we go into manufacturing, then we can produce this product and 
it has a price point because just what it is and how it's created and what it can do that when a person is getting a decent percentage of that price point, i.e. the commissions from the affiliation, they can sustain themselves, especially based on the demand. Okay, because it's the field of mindfulness, which is a massive, un almost unsaturated industry. It's what a lot of even in ambassador training, we're training with life coaching, we're training life coaching, we're dealing with business branding, those kind of things. And that's the mindful future that's going to happen after people get tired of the robots. And it's like, okay, I'm tired. I need to recover. I miss trees. Like, who cares about it in ultra five, not 5,000 K. It's just hurting my eyes. I want to go back to get trees again because that's how everything completes itself, right? And then people discover their, spir their spiritual side more. And so somebody needs to be there to facilitate that system. So as you know, that was basically the wings, I get wind again of crypto. Come, it came up in like a, a, in the dream, in a vision, some emails, all within the one day, two, two day period. Because I was approached about crypto four years ago and maybe a couple times in between then. And personally, I just know <clears throat> that everything that I get into, I do a deep dive. And I was just saying for myself, excuse me, <coughs> I was just saying for myself right then that I didn't have the time to really, you know, do a deep dive on something like this because I could see right away that I was in front of something that, you know, would take me into that kind of technological side of things. So, I'm, you know, I didn't pay attention. I think it's a really good thing that I didn't because I also know how I am. When I do a deep dive, I figure out everything about something and I would have been it's easily one of those people holding thousands of Bitcoin. Like, remember, there were, are a lot of people that were holding thousands of Bitcoin and Bitcoin is now at 16,000. Bitcoin used to be one dollar. OK, the equivalent to the dollar. Even recently, same thing with Litecoin. People Litecoin was there's It's happening all the time. I can't even just I would have to name pretty much 40 percent of the coins at least. But the most interesting part is, is that that also leaves a 60 percent that you should avoid. And so not having the right kind of bearing when trying to navigate the crypto waters could equally very equal very fast a watch out. So you do again want to seek counsel. So what we decided again once I saw the crypto verse and what it offers from a financial just from a financial um, freedom state because I already know something like Fiaqua and the rest of these things because I See, I can test things because I can go into another state and I can see what it does. So it's almost like for me, it's a little bit like cheating because everybody else, they have to try to keep making something that they think does something. And then they have to run a lot of tests and see if it actually does that. For me, I can go into the space and then look at it and see how it's not configured properly. See what's, you know, you see so much there. That's just when you keep going in, going in, going in, you learn how to function while you're in there. And basically you're able to see what is what. So. Also, that puts because when you come back down, you're coming down units of energy, right? So when you come down units of energy, it really means that. And, and just give me one quick second. I'm going to go ahead and uh, and just take a call really quick. Okay, excuse me, everyone. I just have to take a quick call. That was pretty urgent. When people can't get in touch with me for just a moment, they think so. Where's he at? And so, <clears throat> so what happened is, is that okay? So since this this offers something even bigger for us to share more with everyone, if we say, look, we're pioneers. That's what we're doing. We're pioneering this whole thing. Why launch Phi Aqua into, let's say, maybe a crowdfunding campaign first to get awareness up, and then just funnel it into the affiliate network, it would only still have so much steam, not to mention you would also accrue a lot of fiat and thus you would be placing yourself in some type of debt and bondage based on your own success. Okay? And this is what we would have to think about. It's like, like Puff says, more money, more problems. It's a real thing. It's like, I don't have a problem with money. Money is a problem. When you get a lot of it, you start having to make sure that you're calling the right people to do certain things for you, process things a certain way, dealing with the government, all these different things, making sure everything is in order. And that has to be done, especially if you're making any real money, right? So why create more problems for yourself? 
And that was a thought, but then I thought also I would just use it as a sacrifice because somebody needed to be basically the throughput from the conscious community, a higher consciousness community, and the banking system. That's our, I already talked about that a long time ago, about the modules, et cetera, because, not a long time ago, but at least within this last six to eight months. And it's just because you, if somebody's just going to cut off the financial system, this is how we were thinking before crypto. Somebody's just going to cut off the financial system for themselves so that they can free themselves up, start getting paid to, in, in another currency, which I call jewels then, then this is what we would want, but we would need to be a financial powerhouse. We would need to bring in enough fiat, which we could do with something like FiAqua and the rest of the projects, in order to begin to fund, it, fund basically an entire institution, that, a think tank that develops things, okay? So that, was, that is, was in stone, that was the vision, okay? And that is still the vision. It's just the vision got wings. When crypto rolled in, it rolled in as a vehicle to scale up something like this in the, in as fast as we need it really to happen. Because when it comes to building something uh, with just hoping some people like it, now you're climbing up the ladder, you hope you do well on certain things. It's like you don't have as many people that are interested in this kind of stuff right now either. So and even if you did, you can't go public and then meaning you can't say, OK, I'm opening this company for mindfulness invest in my company, I'm on the stock exchange. No, it, you know, it's so, it's so difficult for anyone with ideas to actually get themselves together. So that's why we decided, hey, let's become the remedy for that. And we become the remedy for that because we're now designing an ICO where we're leveraging our future products, which is FiAqua, our chakra suits, et cetera. We're leveraging that on our coin. We're launching that in tandem with our ICO so that way those, the fiat that is coming in gets immediately turned into our coin so that anybody who has invested in our coin will receive the benefits of that coin going up because all of our resources are being funneled back into our coin. See, because we have assets. Like we're not a utility. We could have utilities, meaning we could actually do something in that field. There's technologies in that field. See, the same thing always applies. If you have the, the, the ability to troubleshoot, if you have extra access to your own consciousness, if you've gotten yourself centered, you can enter into any space and you will have a tendency to outperform those who have not done that same work. That's why we're always encouraged to keep doing work. Some people are asking me, how am I able to balance all these things? You have to realize that most people are told that they can't balance a lot of things. And that's why they believe in that. They, they're completely oblivious to realizing just because you have a lot of money, it doesn't mean that you don't have a lot of things to do and you could just chill out. That's what they think money is going to do for them, give them the ability to stop doing anything so they could chill out. But the people that you see that actually have money, they have full schedules. They have several companies. They have things that they're doing. So what I was saying is, though, we still need more conscious people in that space. And because you, if you didn't pass you know, business and law and a lot of other things that you need to be able to suffice in this business world right now, then you have another avenue, which is cryptocurrency, to actually see how you can move from a consumer because you're buying all these gym shoes. So you gotta tell people like, look, this is what it is. You'll start thinking about next time when you go and buy something you have five or 10 of. You'll start thinking next time when you go and get iPhone 10 and you already got iPhone 8. That's a stack. I could take that $1,000, put it on something right then, and then watch it become an investment for me and a future for me for right now. Now, let me tell you something also about the cryptoverse, because I'm not saying, hey, go trust your money in the cryptoverse. That's not what anyone has to do. Like, that's a myth. What you can do is, is you can have your strategy put together, because to, what you should be doing is you should be buying land. You should be buying land in a, you should base, you should buy land and assess where you're going to buy land on how much energy is coming through. It's like common sense, but a lot of people don't talk about it. But think about it. When you buy land, if there's a lot of wind on one side because the mountain's going up, then you know you could put a mini windmill right there. If you got a, wind, a river coming through it, then you could put a turbine right there. If you have a, you know, it's just out there, it's kind of hot in one area, there's no shade, then you could put the solar cells out there. So you buy the, the property based on the energetic potential. And what I'm telling you right now is if you can just bring power in for free, you can now turn power into money. 
And of course, that's the whole mining with cryptocurrency. You could turn literal electricity. If you're paying five dollars per kilo or five cents, excuse me, per kilowatt or 0.5, whatever the low, low. There's some people in the U.S. that are paying 0.5 or whatever. That means you can make money on your power. So the reason why the power in your house, that electricity, what, because you're getting it cheap. You see what I mean? So that's what I mean by when these incomes are they're, they're called passive because you don't have to really do that much. But they're very aggressive when it comes to how you're spending time right now. So it's just something to pay attention to. So project for Phi Aqua, first quarter, the ICO launch of the entire boom. Like it's going beyond the moon. We have the faculties. We have the codes. There's a lot of there's a lot of exchanges and interfaces that are perfect for what we're doing. And if you could put the, the ICOs on a one to 100 list, 100 being the worst and one being the best, once you get about 20 on down, it's pretty much most ICOs as far as their real angle. They're making millions of dollars getting into a new space to where anyone can fund them. See, this is what it is. Like now I think I'm going to simplify this for the critic. The one who still thinks that, you know, it's some kind of darkness to it. Think about this. You got an idea. Okay. You want to do something. You're ready to accelerate. But because you're only dealing with maybe people in your little city or your town, maybe just your own, you know, your own state. Right. And then or just your government, you know, they, they're you're trying to get a loan or something like that from them then that's only a certain amount of access for you. There's only, that's the only challenge you can feed from, basically. But then let's say now you open up that up to an entire world. Let's say a kid in China believes more about your water programming than everybody on the Western Seaboard. You see what I mean? And has the ability to say, hey, I want to contribute. I want to be a part of that. It opens you up to that. Likewise, again, if when you're making a lot of money, there's a lot of current moving through, what you start finding out, and this is just in the regular fiat world, is that it becomes very difficult to figure out where you're going to put your money. Okay? And there's movies about that, of just about large amounts of money and just trying to figure out where to put it. Right? The thing about the cryptoverse is, is it's scalable. So it solves all of your, your issues with, hey, how am I storing and how am I accumulating wealth and then redistributing wealth? You see what I mean? So... All of those kind of, of tools are what's necessary, in my point of view, that's all I can say, is necessary for us to make a quantum leap before much more con, con, uh, distorted ideas start becoming more of the, the reality, right? Like, all I think is, is that if you open up a faculty to where people can at least see a different option, and that option is, in truth, better for them, they're going to go there. I see a lot of people complaining a lot about what's available and what's happening, like our governments and all this kind of stuff. But we don't, when do we build something? And now we're given the ability to build something, and then now you got a whole different group of people. We call them their, their FUD, the fear, right? They're just like, ah, oh, stay away, don't do it. You, oh, you know, it's evil. And, and then this is, and they're always there. Like whether it was to get out of church and stop believing in just something that's external, whether they was, hey, stop eating that, you know, because it's, you know, like what I'm saying is these are the same people that were like, hey, why should you stop eating that? Like it's food. Great grandma lived till she was 102 years old and she ate that. You know what I mean? These are the people that, oh, you know, it, it, it's the worst thing, you know, for you. That, that's all they have to say because they're feeding on negativity. In the end, Rich, just remember this. When you start thinking about good and evil, I want you to start thinking about alkaline and acid. And how you need both as an alchemist. They say, bring me the alkalines and the acids. Acids I can break down, alkalines I can build up. So you have to remember that still in this entire yin and yang, don't get too much yin, don't get too much yang. Don't go into the crypto version, oh, where is he? I don't know, he's lost in numbers. 
you gotta have a purpose. You need to have a, like when you're sailing out to the ocean, you know how they christen the yacht? That's what you're doing. You're going out now, you're leaving the bank. <laughs> the bank is the shore, right? So you're leaving the bank. So long, now you're going out to the open sea. You know, they christen you, they pop the bottle, poop, you know? So make sure, though, you're seaworthy and you got some people on board. You know what I mean? Like, get people on board with you. Think more collectively. And then say, hey, you know, let's all sail this water together. Let's get in this and let's, want, let's change our world. And that, because that's what's now available to us. So that's all I have to say. I won't say, take any more questions. Good question, though, about Phi Aqua, because it's important for people to know where we're going with this. Like I said, check out Ambassador Training if you have not already, if you want to get the inside. Obviously, these conversations can only be, I don't know, I think I've been here for almost two hours. So I can't condense, you know, like the, the nitty gritty, because we talk about nitty gritty, how to get started, how to get in. We got charts about what not to do. We have information about, you know, large resource lists of uh, uh, or your portfolio, things that you need to use to accomplish your portfolio, how to deal with your taxes, good advice on what you're dealing with with your debt, how to neutralize your debt. Those kind of things are what we're talking about now. And that's, that's going to be rapid. Remember, we just we move right through this. Once we start taking off, then it's all about it's all about bringing the people in. Then the resources are there. So now you're bringing in people with the vision. Ready to really, really get to this, though, not the space heads that are like, oh, my idea. If you guys want my idea. No, we're full of ideas. What we want is, is people who are going to make those ideas actualized. And actualization is when there has to be some actual work going on. So that's the people that we're going to be bringing in and metamorphosizing this. And then by 2020, as I said, we're basically going to be in our, in our stations with our ship completely polished down, looking really, really right. The world's going to really, really know what's going on on that end. And we'll poise ourselves for whatever is going to happen at that point. Because 2020, and you'll see it in a lot of things. Watch what I say. 2020 is that point where the world, it basically decides. You're going to swim. You're going to go into the big ocean. You're going to stay in your, you know how they got the school, right? So you're going to be there with the colony or the group, your tribe. You're going to navigate. You're going to explore. You're going to experience. You're going to lean on each other, right? You know, but everyone's still going to be able to stand on their own. You know, there's a, there's a cognizant, highly cognizant side to these kind of collections. You know, we work with children more. Start really educating parenting, that process. That's what S3 has in it is the parenting aspect, how to raise the child, dealing with this world, not alienating the child. So all those components, that's 2018 for us. So as always, I just wanted to make sure because this is, you know, it's almost the end of the year, obviously. And I did say I was going to come in. I had some stuff to say, and I wanted to make you aware of certain things. And hopefully, you know, I made you aware enough of the, the yin and the yang so that way you can get a good balance of what's happening. Remember, it's what you make it. There's different forces that are out here. And you as the one who wells the forces for yourself, this is your planet. So what you choose to do right now, like if you try to go off into emotional tangent, watch your emotion. Like I said, it's just listen to some videos about, you know, charts of, you know, on Wall Street. And then instead of hearing them say, oh, this is this stock and this is that stock. Think about your feelings and your emotions. When your feelings, good emotions go up, when they go down, how you feel. Start thinking about that. Make those correlations and connections. So again, I, I can get long-winded about the same thing. Just wanted to make sure that, you know, before we go into 2018, some people were asking about their New Year's resolution. Let this be your resolution for yourself. Let this be your own investment to yourself. Get yourself together. Get out of debt so you don't owe anybody. Right. And then not only that, start accumulating wealth. Do what you always wanted to do. You always wanted to be an investor. They call it angel investor. Right. You know, you get into this, actually start funding people's ideas that are around you. And then likewise, if you've gotten into that space already and you're just looking at those numbers and you're watching, bloops, 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 you're looking at a money machine, homie. Do something with that money now. Figure it out. You got people in the cryptoverse right now. They still they're not they're just like trading all day. And they're watching the numbers. Do, do, do. Oh, yeah, I got more money. Oh, and then they never boom. You know, for a 17 year old kid, 
I saw a 17-year-old kid just have $1.2 million overnight, right? So there's actually no age limits. This is why I'm saying, like, that's why a lot of people are scared. See, there's no, there's no limits. There's a limit, of course. There's always a limit in numbers, but I'm saying the limit is so high. You know how in your bank, when you go in the bank, they tell you what your limit is? That's really your limit. <laughs> go try to expand more than that. That's your limit. You're talking about the limits are like nobody's saying that a 17 year old kid can can't have one point two million dollars in his account from something that he did in his room. <laughs> Nobody. You see, do you understand how damaging that is to also a 45 year old male investor coming out of its prime and spent his whole life trying to accumulate half of that riding the charts up and down, riding the, the basically the, the, the Wall Street. Uh, 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 Gambling house up and down. You see what I mean? So this is that's paradigm shift. Think about it like there's stuff happening now. Also realize like, OK, so if this person and this is just one example is now sitting on one point two million dollars from investing. A hundred dollars. What do you think after, you know, prolonged period of time depends on how early he got in. Right. Hundred Bitcoin. How much is that worth? This is really happening. So what's going to happen to the puny banking system then? When numbers like even what the bank has, you have some crunch bank companies like level six sitting on more than the banks have in digital currency. And then some people say, oh, well, it's going to be a bubble. It's going to crash. Well, guess what? It was built by the same system that would be able to crash it if they could, if it wasn't theirs. They're not going to crash their own thing. They're interested in scaling up getting more interactions happening on the planet, feeling more of these economies. There's a whole other wave like China's wave, like the cartoons and all that kind of stuff. And people starting to play around with that. So, you know, there's there's a lot of stuff going to happen. I can't tell you hey, it's going to be all great. We're going to learn a lot from AI, but it may not be the way that we think, meaning it may not be like sitting down asking the AI questions. It may be the actions and things that take place because of the use of AI teach us a lesson about who we are. And the only lesson that, that could be, and that's how you use wisdom, is that you need to be dependent on yourself, that you need to be sovereign. You need to have your own bank. You need to have your own power and your own energy because then you're a sovereign and no, nobody can mess with you. Spiritually, when you reach sovereignty, nothing can mess with you. You're already there, but you also have a lag physical aspect that could hold you down. People need to stop playing with themselves. Well, my spiritual being will be all right. Think about it. Most of the time, the things that affect us the most are what ha are happening. What's happening here. We can have an amazing time together and in other spaces and have bodies, too. So what makes this have to be where you suffer? It doesn't have to be. But the vehicle in which it moves to remove that from the planet all of us are sitting in it. So I don't care what anybody says. I don't care what anybody does around you. All is self. Realize the resonance, though, meaning that various aspects of self are running around. Resonate and vibrate higher. We need you to create a foundation. And that's that's again. This is a message not for somebody who's learning, but those that teach. This is your power vehicle that gets that whole thing cleared up with the whole finances, why your idea is not happening. So again, I've already gotten certain brothers in. They work with other organizations doing things, working to get stuff off the ground for a long time. Now they have the resources to get things off the ground. It's as simple as that. Some people are thinking too hard about it. So again, that's it. <laughs>